All right, g'day guys. The uh, Hilux is finally getting some power today. So we're gonna have a 170 amp hour deep cycle battery from Kickass. Uh, we're also running their DC to DC charger. So that will take care of obviously all the charging and we'll be able to hook up our solar to it as well for those more remote trips. Uh, we've got a 12 blade uh, fuse box as well, which we're gonna run um, power from the battery to that fuse box and then down into our Anderson plug. So we'll have our oven, and our fridge plugging into these and also we have a spare and it's some plug as well if we want to run a fan or something like that um, we've got hardcore lighting so we've got a cool flush mount that's going to go onto the panel as well so that switch will be just there um, we'll run uh, lights up top here underneath and then same on the other side Alrighty guys, so I brought my brother Mike on uh, to give us a hand today. He does work at ARV as an accessory fitter and his knowledge on this stuff is just a little bit uh, better than mine. So anyway, what, uh, how should we start this thing? Well, let's get, um, get it all mocked up. Basically we've got the mail mine, which is our, our beauty panel, that's what we see. We don't want to really be test fitting stuff on here. So we're going to do it all onto the structural backing board. We'll um, set out DC charger, fuse box, and the Anderson plugs. We'll be drilling it all, fastening it down. Um, and then when that's all done and tied up, we'll bring in the uh, mallet mine to sort of cover it up and we'll refit it all. So, then we'll cool. plug it in and everything works. That's a fun. <laughs> So we've uh, tested everything. We have our three Anderson plugs, uh, light switch, fuse box, and our DC to DC charger. Uh, we're going to have these wires running straight out the back of the canopy, and that's what will be into a plug, um, which will go straight in for our crank battery, which will come into the canopy. And this wire here will go to our secondary battery, which is also in the canopy. All our wires down here have been uh, test fit as well, and they've been labelled up. So now it's just a matter of um, unscrewing all this, getting that melon on, putting it all on top, and then uh, screwing this on, and then we'll crimp all our wires in. And then it'll be a matter of just uh, plugging it into that uh, outside canopy power. So that's it. Alrighty, so we're pretty happy with uh, how this has come out. We've just uh, screwed everything into the melon line and poked all the wires through. And just in the back, to help it look a little bit neater, we have this run uh, cable ties all the way up and down and a little bit of electrical tape. <laughs> he laughing behind the camera but he had all the cable tying on there. But uh, yeah, it turned out really good. So now it's just, uh, we're gonna put Anderson uh, pins on and they'll be slot straight into here. And then the fuse box, we'll take this off and then we'll end up just uh, prepping these in um, the positives and the negatives. And then as soon as we get power from the battery into the fuse box, this thing is fully working. So good to go. So we've taken the canopy off the back of the ute tray and this makes uh, drilling all the holes out the back of the canopy uh, a lot easier. We've installed a free Anderson plug weather shield and a single three pin uh, weather shield as well on the back of the canopy. And the three pin is from our starter battery which will um, go to the DC to DC charger and then keep that secondary battery charged. Then with the three uh, Anderson plug weather shield we have two for 12 volt accessories, one being a 12 volt pump the other being um, our side light for the left and the right of the car. And then the last one's gonna be solar. So whether we get a solar blanket or we run permanent solar on the top, we can just plug that in and that's our secondary source of charging up the battery. I feel like a little schoolboy in here. But to save, on, to save on some room, I've just made this panel so the battery can actually be submerged um, in past it, which means we actually have more room here for the fridge. Um, we take this panel off. So we can see our uh, lighting wire and our 12 volt uh, panel wire going straight through. We've also got here, so our positive and negative which will go on and then 
are charging positive and negative from the DC to DC charger. So this will power the fuse box and all the accessories and this will be the uh, cord that's actually powering the battery. So this will all be hooked up up top and this just fits in nicely over like that. We'll get some uh, some melon mine and put that over the top and I reckon it's coming out looking really good. So. Alrighty, so the canopy's back on. Uh, we've installed the 12 volt panel and that's all wired up. We also run wires um, behind behind this panel here um, and that just gives our pulse, our neg and our uh, wiring for this left panel over here. Well, we've also done something a bit cool. I've got a um, instant hot water system with this chucked on a TV bracket. So that can just stay away uh, when we're driving and then when we wanna have a shower they'll just pop out just like that and then we've also got our drop down ensuite there so it's all coming together um and uh next episode we will go through finish off the uh left hand panel there run our wiring to this uh charging panel here and then uh, we can also start plugging in our 12 volt pump our uh, lights and also some solar so Anyway, stay tuned for the next episode and uh, see you there.